In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace the hood release latch and cable on your Ford Explorer. It's located right at the base of your dashboard. With our hood open, we wanna go ahead and disconnect our battery. We're gonna start by disconnecting the negative side here using an eight millimeter socket. Go ahead and spin that off and set that aside. Go ahead, loosen and remove our positive terminal here. Now, if your battery has a hold on clamp or something like that, you wanna go ahead, loosen and remove that. Now, our particular vehicle doesn't have one in it, so we're simply going to go ahead, pick up the battery and set it aside. Now the base right here is your handle. Now, if you lift this up, you're gonna find two seven millimeter screws right at the base holding the handle in place. Let's go ahead and use our socket and extension. And we'll remove these screws. And drop that down. And at this point here, I want to go ahead and follow this cable up underneath the hood of the vehicle. Now inside of our fender area here where the battery has been removed, you can see our hood cable here and it runs down underneath and it runs underneath our fuse box or power distribution box. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this out of its retaining clips here, set it aside. That's going to give us access to where it goes through the firewall. And then we're gonna to go to the front of the vehicle and trace it through and disconnect it from the hood latch. Now I'm just gonna use a pocket screwdriver and there are two retaining clips. There's one right here and there's one just on the back side of it here. And what you wanna do is gently pry this out. I'm gonna lift up and you can see that that moves up. Do the same in the back, lifting up. We can then go ahead and wiggle this unit up and out of the way. Our hood release cable runs down underneath the brake master. And then our cable runs out across here and runs through the firewall and this lower grommet right down here. And remove these four 10 millimeter bolts right here. Using your trim tool, we're gonna to go ahead and remove or release these plastic push buttons. There's one here, there's one over here. Go ahead and remove this panel and set it aside. And we're gonna remove these two eight millimeter bolts here holding our latch in place. Good, and lift this latch up and out. What we want to access is the loop on the back side here. On the back side of the latch, we want to go ahead and use our pliers. I want to adjust this here. It's going to be two little tabs. We're going to pinch it. Work this out like so. I want to go ahead and disconnect our loop on the end here. Work this cap back off of this. And 
This just basically slides over and locks into place. Don't want to lose that. Now we can just pop our eyelet off of the post. I'm going to begin feeding this cable back through into the interior of the vehicle. Now right here, there's a little retainer tab. We're just going to go ahead and pop this off. Pull the cable out of it. If you follow the cable up here to the rubber grommet that goes into the firewall, we're going to go ahead and simply put pressure on that there. We're going to push us back into the interior of the vehicle. Now that that's in, go ahead and start pushing and feeding this cable through. Now as you're doing this here, you want to pay attention to how the cable is run through onto the fender well, up underneath, and underneath the liner here, and across. Now with that cable through, we can go ahead and pull that out the rest of the way from underneath the dash. And there is our unit. You can remove this and discard it. And go ahead and take the loop end of your cable. Feed that out into the engine compartment. Now that you have that coming through the firewall, go ahead and bring this around. We're going to start feeding it through in our original position that this was run in. Let's go ahead and take our latch, take the loop end, put it over that post, and we're gonna bring this back. Press and lock that in. I'm gonna take our little plastic sleeve cover here, and this slides over the post to lock that cable in place. Like so. Let's go ahead and install this latch. Now when I'm installing the latch here, I'm simply going to look for where the washer had left its original mark on the latch itself. This will give us a basic 
preliminary setting of where that is to be lined up. Snug these down. Now that we have our latch installed, let's go ahead and install the handle on the inside of the vehicle. I wanna go ahead and feed this rubber insulator through with this rubber grommet. We're gonna push that in. Wanna make sure that that goes into the firewall. Install our handle here and once we get our handle installed we're going to go back to the outside in the engine compartment and pull that rubber grommet through so it's a nice tight seal. And put one of our screws through here, feed that up into place. started. We'll get our second one started here. Let's go ahead and snug those down. Let's go ahead to the engine compartment and pull that cable through with that grommet. Just gonna wobble that grommet just so that the flared end pops through. Now that we have that there, I'm gonna install our cable on our retainer clip right here. Install your plastic cover right here. And let's go ahead and pop in our plastic push pins. Install our four bolts. And snug those down. Let's go ahead and install our box here. Simply line this up with those little metal tabs. Press it down, lock it into place. Let's go ahead and test the hood closing and the latch release. and grab that release. There we go. Latch is lined up good. This point here, once that's all tested and everything works okay, now go ahead and install our battery. Go ahead and grab your battery. Lower it down into place. 
This is the point where you want to go ahead and install your hold down clamp if your particular vehicle has it. Ours doesn't. We're going to go ahead and install the positive side. Install our negative side. I'm going to go ahead and snug this down. Once that bolt tightens down, just give it a little bit more. You don't want to over tighten these here, but you do want to make sure that you can't spin this terminal. Do the same for the negative. Snug that down and we're pretty tight. You're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.